G'day and welcome back to another episode of Tomo's Tune-Ups. We're here with Andrew and we are going to be talking all things shock absorbers. So, mate, talk us through the different range of shock absorbers you have available here at Minisport. Yeah, um, so we've got the uh, the standard uh, oil shock absorber that you find on most of your sort of 60s cars. Yep. Uh, that's what they sort of ran back in the day. Yep. Um, we, these days... My preference is the gas adjust for a road car. This one here is a um, really, I guess you'd sort of say, much on the same platform as the Munro sensor track yep. in the way that it has the technology in it that it will self-adjust for road conditions. So yep. uh, bumpy roads, dirt roads, things, yeah, things like that. Yeah. Um, and also it's a gas charge shock, so it's gonna return for you. Yep. Um, yeah, really strong shock absorber. Yep, and then further down, I'd see that we've got some Bilstein and some adjustable ones down here. Yeah. What's uh, what's the go with these? Yeah, the Bilstein. Uh, yeah, it's. I mean, it's got the name, hasn't it? The Bilstein yep. shock is one of those shockers that um, people stand behind their brands yeah. that they like. They and like they, Nike, they, and they yeah they like Bilstein's in shockers. So yeah, yeah. okay. Um, and they're and they're, they're a strong shock absorber. Yep. So what about the adjustable ones here? What's the difference with those compared to the standard shocks? Yeah, so you can dial in with this knob here. You can dial in the um, how sort of firm you want that shocker to be, yep. depending on the application that you're running. Yeah, okay. So you can really tune it to suit those kind of conditions you want to drive in, I guess? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you can really... So with all the shocks, if I wanted to lower my car, for instance, do I need to run this with a standard shock do or do I need to run a, a shorter shock? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, with, a, with a standard shock, you've really got to just be a bit careful because obviously we, we all like a lowered Mini. They look pretty, pretty hot low. Um, <laughs> so, you know, you don't want the, that shock absorber to be uh, allowing suspension componentry to be coming out, anything like that. Uh, yep. You want that shocker to be running in that range for the height of the car. So it's really important that you, you sort that out. Yeah. Uh, you find on our website, we do try and put all the um, shock lengths on there for you so you can at least go there as a point of reference. Yeah, get the, to suit what you're actually doing. Um, so what about the gas and the spacks? Like, what's the difference between those other than, like, brand? Is one gas, is one oil? Are they the same? Yeah, you'd think the gas would be gas, but it's not. Yep. Uh, the spacks is a Krypton gas, um, as, as it shows you on the shockers. Okay. Over there. Yep. Uh, both knob adjustable. Um, you probably ask 10 different people. You'll get 10 yep. different opinions on which one's the, yeah. the better one. Yep. I think everyone has their own brand preference. Yep. Um, we sell equal numbers, and... Um, yeah, they're, they're both a really strong shock absorber. Yeah, okay. So how do I determine what I need for the car? Is it a case of working out whether I'm going to be driving the car on the racetrack or if it's just a daily driver? How do I um, choose the right shock to suit um, your application? Oh, I, get, I suppose it all comes down to what you're using the car for um, and, and also for a budget. I mean, you go back to our first um, just standard oil shock absorber yep. and, um, you know, for, for a price point, um, they, they come in pretty decent yep. uh, and they go up from there. So if, you, if you're going to track and you want to really, you know, get that feel of the car in the corner that you want, yeah, and then you play with something knob adjustable. So pr yeah, pretty much just tailor it to suit what you want to do with the car, whether it be daily, whether it be track, whether it just be um, full race, I guess, yeah, choose which one to yeah. suit. But guys, make sure to check out the full range at minisport.com.au and we'll see you right here on another episode of Tomo's Tune-Ups.